I came to South Africa as a refugee in 1941, 13 year old. I didn't go to school for three years because I couldn't speak English. I worked in a shop. My picture together with my father was in the Sunday Times uh, with a heading, the uh, uh, journey of the Greek farmer that saved seven New Zealand soldiers. I was working in the shop and a young woman walked in and I served her and she asked, what school do you go to? I said, I don't go to school. She said, my name is Sylvia Feinstein. I am a teacher. I am coming on Monday morning. This was a Friday afternoon and I'm going to take you to my school and you make sure that he wears his best and you buy him a uniform. <laughs> and uh, it, that's really changed my life. I came to Witz in 1948. I found it very exciting. There were difficult times. Uh, the nationalists won the election. They were uh, uh, against the policies of Jan Smuts and his government that brought refugees to, to the country. Uh, in fact, uh, one of the other Afrikaner teachers, uh, when there were pictures of Greek children emaciated after the liberation at the end of uh, 1944, uh, Menir Skierpers uh, said, Bissos, I see that your brothers and sisters are starving to death. I see that too, sir. You look well fed to me. I said, my father is working, sir, and I hope one day we, I will make a contribution to pay off the food for the food that I'm eating. And it angered him and he said, um, uh, not only do we feed you, we've made you clever. <laughs> In May 1948, the uh, Nationalist Party uh, won the elections and the university was uh, under fire from the government. There were a small number of African, Indian and colored and some Chinese people, the apartheid government declared that uh, the university had to get rid of all non-whites and if it didn't, uh, there were threats that it would not be funded. This had a very strong effect on the student body and uh, the student body became politicized Dr. Milan, the Prime Minister, was asked in Parliament by one of his members, what is going on at this Witz University? And Milan's answer was that he was in touch with the authorities. There was a small group of leftist students that made all the trouble but he was assured by the university authorities that well-mannered and reasonable students will kick them out of the Students' Representative Council and all will be well. There was a protest meeting in the hall the next day after the Milan speech. And I, a first-year student, made a speech. And I said, if wanting equal treatment to our black fellow students makes me a leftist, I'm proud to be one. Law is the favorite son of democratic rule. 
lawyers or some lawyers have a bad reputation. And when I speak to young people, they ask me, what about the rich lawyers with the very rich uh, motor cars and mansions and charging thousands upon thousands a day? I tell them, yes, you become a lawyer, you're entitled to be remunerated, to live adequately, to educate your children, <laughs> to travel. But you should not forget that justice is there for all. And you should try and put at least some of your time to assist people who seek justice.